It was at, this is my little thing. Four, four hours and five minutes is when this key started about. Oh god, that the activate windows thing. Can't wait to get roasted for that. I guess just to like summarize what I'm actually doing here, for anyone that doesn't already know. This is something I haven't been very good about lately, but I used to do this a lot, like every month or so. So I just like pick a VOD where I feel like I did well, and I go watch it and like roast myself, and that helps me get better. Because if you think you did well, like you're always making, every single player in this game is always making at least some mistakes sometimes. So if you don't know what they are, the best way to improve is to watch when you didn't think you made a mistake and you'll notice them when you're watching it back and then you'll start becoming more conscious of them as they're happening. That's like a pro tip to improve in this game. Record yourself and watch it. Like analytically, don't just like make excuses for yourself. Watch it as if you're watching someone else and like critiquing, critiquing someone else. That's what I'm going to do. All right, this is a 22 Necrotic Wake on Survival Hunter. I might skim around a little bit because it's kind of long, but... This pole I was pogging out from damage. Yeah, one thing I don't actually know is if I should be using Carve or not when I have a Red Bomb out. I tend to not. So if I'm supposed to be doing that, I'm doing that wrong. But I don't actually know if I am because guides don't tend to give you that kind of information. That like really niche information. And that first pull was pretty standard. So let me go back. I don't think I, I... There might have been that kick I missed or something. I also don't think I soothed. I did damage well. I didn't, I didn't really soothe. Which I should have done. I should have soothed the Vanguard. I still think I know. I realized I was doing that wrong in this dungeon though. So it doesn't, knowing that... Seeing that here doesn't really help me. Because I already knew I was not soothing properly. I was having trouble kicking with the nameplates. Yeah, another thing I was doing wrong is I wasn't setting focus going into pulls, so it made it harder for me to kick. That's something I normally do, but it's like discomfort on the hunter. I wasn't thinking about it. Okay, I bound that. That was good. If you were running. Took one of these, stunned the other one. Also good. The kick is back up, so I need to be ready to kick something. That was a good knock. I kick one of these. I kick the same one as Brady. That's where like having a focus on, on something. He might have been kicking the same one the whole time. And I was just like kicking randomly. That's why setting focus is important. And once again, I have Soothe up for like 10 seconds here and I just don't press it. I was good about kicks on this pull, like actually using kick. I should have set focus though. But I wasn't soothing anywhere near enough. Got owned by throw flesh. Okay, I finally seized. I was trying to harpoon to that guy to kick him, but it wouldn't work over the, the rock. Seized again. Now, this is when I started actually soothing. But I was using the wrong targets. Yeah, I should have been using the Vanguard. I was using the one that hit me. <laughs> that's, what, that's when I started noticing raging was a thing. When I started getting stuff thrown at me. Usually I started soothing this guy, but it kept soothing not raging. But I think that was fine. I want a full screen, but it's too hard to like navigate. What are max stacks? We were soothing kinda. He had 20 for a while here though. He had 20 for like a minute. <laughs> Yeah, neither of us were doing that. That also can be purged, can't it? Or no? No, I don't think I can. Never mind. I'm pretty sure it's only soothe. I think Brayden soothes there, but it soothed the raging. And then I just like soothe the other guy instead. And he got raging again. Okay, that was bad. Definitely got to soothe more. This being aware of like class utility is something that like comes with time. Yeah, my name plates, I was getting used to them too. That was like definitely a learning curve. Hello, Brady. 
We got woe there. Did I do anything wrong to get that woe? No, I was specifically single targeting the Ur and someone else killed woe. That was not my fault. I dotted it and then hit co command on it twice and then someone else killed woe. Okay, I'm bound to those. There are a billion orbs and I'm not touching them because I trust the rest of Shaman, which is good. Okay, what did I do there? Oh, that's fine. I overdid the CDR a little bit, but I think it's fine. He's ready to Serpent Sing. Is that what I did? I cleaved? Oh no. Cleave, bomb, then Serpent Sing? I wasn't Serpent Singing the soldiers, so it's bad. I had time to do it. It's like your highest damage pressure, you time global. You have nothing else to do. Nothing important to do with four set pretty, pretty much. My boss kind of boring. I'm targeting Ur again, that's good. It died this time. I well, Once again, I didn't set focus going into the pool though. It's kind of hard to, because like you're trying to target the right relic and everything too, but it's got to like set the focus as I'm walking into the pool. We got bailed out by a, a fear sigil there. I think I wasn't soothing again. That's dumb. Is it? I don't know. Is the soothing more important than damage here? It probably is. Even though I was slamming, it's only one global. And did I funnel properly, or was I padding? That's the same, actually. Survival Hunter Rotation doesn't change. <laughs> With Funnel or Pad. I helped the orbs here because he was falling behind. That was good. Uh, I didn't set focus and wasn't really kicking again. Another utility troll. I used my second bomb a little earlier. Didn't have... I wasted a global there. Okay, I hit orbs again. I need to kick this or soothe. Someone knocked it. I need to stun this. I did. A little bit late, but I got it. Someone sees it. I don't, I don't think it was me, though. I think I was going to die here. I panicked, but a guy died, so it didn't matter. Soothe that. Soothe sham. Soothe it. Press soothe. One drop of soothe. You have it up. Press soothe. I just didn't soothe. I think I kicked like once or twice that pack when I could have kicked like four times. And it's like my biggest weakness on Hunter right now is I just like don't kick. So I'm so used to playing classes that have like a range kick. It's so much easier. I really was hoping the Shaman would eventually kill that. I think he did. I, did I kick that? I kicked late. Did I actually get it? I was like a millisecond late. I missed that kick. But at least I tried. I don't have stun up. I was going to say I should stun that, but I didn't have it up. I stunned that. That was good. That almost got off. Skip ahead a little bit. I charge into the pool because I have the orb up. I kicked that instantly. That's good. I didn't trust you guys to kick that, so I ran out for the fear. <laughs> I feigned that for the DR. I could have kicked. Oh, I did kick. Did I miss? No, I got it. I got it. Did I soothe? Someone soothed. I don't think it was me. But you soothed first, so I didn't have to. Got orbs. This full guy kind of scuffed. What actually happened at the start? I didn't set focus. This is a giant pull. I definitely should have set focus to something. Even if it's like not an important cast. Just to like track things better. There's a 90 million orbs. So I'm tabbing to those. Doing no damage. Did I have kick there? We all did. Except for Brayden. No, I didn't. I used kick right there. 
Uh, what did Brady kick? Brady being champ here for the YouTube audience. We both, me and Braden both kick necrotic bolts. Brady seemed to kick nothing. I don't know what happened there. He just barely missed the kicks, and the fear went off, and it was very bad. Okay, that was just kind of an unfortunate pull. It happens. I don't think I personally did anything terribly wrong in this pool. Oh, this is where the recovery started. I trapped the guy. I really wanted to kill Ur because he would heal us. So I was like focus targeting her Ur, but Brady died first. Uh, I sued something. I sued the Bone Carver. The trap broke, so he's just over there chain casting on somebody. Okay, Shaman kicked him. And I have suit pickup. Wait, no, I don't. I health fought? What happened there? Yeah, I health fought it. My pet taunted. Was that on purpose? I should have pet taunted here to save the healer. That was dumb. Did I pet taunt on purpose? No, I just targeted my pet. I just sat on that bomb for a while. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, we recovered the, the pull. We didn't actually wipe. But that was just like a symptom of not having organized kicks going into the pool. Is we missed one. That just happens. I think I grabbed the spear. Uh, no, I didn't. Someone else did. This pool's boring. Go to the end, see if I soothe. Or I didn't soothe that one. I should soothe the other one then. Yeah, I did see it. Okay. This time I was like tunnel vision. Like I need to get this stop on the cast on the Necromancer. I trapped a moon. I almost missed. But I was staring at the timer. So I really wanted to get the cast. Kick to that cast. That's good. Should be casting as any second now, so I'm pretty sure I stopped casting anything. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I just didn't use any globals for like two seconds here. I really wanted to stun it as soon as it started, and then I did, like right away. I think Earthquake actually got it first, which is kind of funny, but... That was still good for me. Now I should be soothing like right now. But I didn't. But Raiden did, so it was fine. Did I use my cooldown the well? Because Ur is happening here and it's RP time before the boss, I should have just like thrown my Kyrian arrow down as soon as it came up right here. Even if it's only like for like two globals. It would have been back before I pulled the boss. I think. But also it's very minor. I don't know. Playing a safe is also good. You told me to get the ore, but I decided to get it after the pool. So I didn't want to miss part of the boss. I'm targeting Ur again. Love that. Learn, learn from this, please. I do need like CC on these ads. I tried to, but I didn't need to. I could have misdirected them. I don't think I did. Not that it really matters. What did I do there? Did I go kick. Kick the mage. I was ready to, but you, you, the silence was on it. I went out to kick it. Harpooned that one and kicked it, but the harpoon rooted it, so it didn't actually help very much. That's a bit of a tragedy of this spec. I stunned that cast. That's good. I was very focused on like stopping things on this pull. That was like the only way you wipe at this point. I really needed that to die. That's good. I'm just funneled, funneled the ball. I think I trapped something. I should have if I didn't. Okay, I did. It was kind of late, but I did. So you're just going to hit the boss. Got the orb went up. I think I remember this one going badly. I don't remember why. 
Make sure they reset, Brady. I misdirected to use my orb. Didn't set focus on anything, but I kicked that right away because I was just targeting it. I'm pretty sure I targeted that on purpose, like for that. Scratched my microphone. We both bounded. That was pretty good. I saved the carver, which I think is bad. And then I got I walked into fervent range. I just died. I also I definitely sued the wrong target. Because the, the Fleshcrafter guy is like him being raging right there is good. Because he's gonna slam the other mob. So I made a lot of I made some big errors there. I sued the guy that was helping us, then I walked into a fervent mob. Just not realizing that the tank wasn't in range, really not thinking about it. I was, when I got upstairs, I was already sued. That guy wasn't, so I, I didn't see. I thought I did. Never mind. I should have sued the creation here. I did. Okay, I just didn't notice until later. Why am I just never setting focus? I usually do that. I just, I'm not doing it this dungeon at all. I see right away. No. Braden sued first. Yeah, I never pet on in this room or even like thought about trying to. It's like another thing I need to do. So at least consider it. I sued that right away. This is the part of the dungeon where I really realized how bad I was at soothing and started trying to soothe more. I targeted Uru again. Someone owned it. I wanted to kick that, but I was going to be late, no matter what I did. I thought about soothing it, but I don't think I did, because like, it was going to kill the creationist, but someone else soothed it. I never got the cast off anyway, so it didn't actually matter at all. I soothed the creation, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm targeting a collector because I wanted to kick it. I don't know why I wasn't using focus kick ever. I think part of it was I was just like less comfortable with focus kick because it was like a melee range kick and I'm not used to that. I don't know when I'm in melee range of the focus target very well. But it's something I have to just like do to get used to. But I soothed that and then I immediately regretted it. I oh, know I didn't see that. Oh, I did see that. Oh, or just made it back up. I regretted it because I didn't think I'd have it up in time for a pitch or for the stitch work guy, but Uru CDR made it come back up. And then it, Braden sees it anyway. I don't think much else until the last boss is interesting. Here's where I should have pet taunted. But I was like killing these because they were raging. I should have picked on that. Or something. Like something here. Tenderize that. I assume though, at least. I don't know. I almost died here. Why? I'm just taking damage. Is there a frontal or something? I think I was just getting ticked down. So I'm in melee. I don't have to be in melee as a survival hunter for most of the time. I think I realized that like around here. I started backing up. This time I just bound those out of this. And then I went to go hit Rot's view. But the binding didn't work. And I don't know why still. That should have worked. Did I feign this? I kind of bombed the guy, but I don't want to put that in melee. I see that like right away. <clears throat> I 
This I don't think this boss had anything interesting happen that I remember. We probably should have killed Uber a little earlier, but it didn't really matter that much, I don't think. We were gonna we were not gonna make 18% from it being dead earlier. That's standard boss. This boss had a lot happen, but I don't remember what. We got Uber. I was over here. Oh, I thought that was on me. It was on a hunter. So I ran out. Two of our guys died. Brady was rooted. He either back what? Okay, that was weird. I'm not gonna I'm not coaching him though. Try not to focus on that, but he like backpedaled back into it. I didn't realize why he died there at the time. Unfortunately we had engineers. So Brady's back alive. I did that fine. I don't have any potions. I need to use my guy. I don't know if I noticed that or not. I for once remember to go to the corner. I could have harpooned. I didn't need to go around like that. I did use my resonating area because I had 100% crit. And that's like the main thing it gives us crit. There was a snake no need. I think that was the right move. Oh yeah, I did remember. I summoned my potion guy. We have neither of the other DPS are here now. More happened. When was that? When did other things happen? Yeah, stack there. Oh, why is Braden dead? What happened? What happened? That off screen. Oh, uh, doesn't really matter. This time I got the thing and I ran out. You get 100% crit from coming up from this, I think. It's a lot of, I don't know if it's 100%, but it's a lot of crit. Okay, I was about to say I could have sent that bomb there because like I'm not going to get another one anyway. And then I did. Another DPS is dead, so I'm starting to panic. I'm worried we're going to wipe and deplete. I once again could have harpooned. I don't know why I didn't. Do you actually... Combo storm there? Probably better not to. I used arrow this time because I wasn't ever going to have any more time during this boss where I didn't have the buff. The boss is going to die in the window, so I just sent it. I didn't stack in time on the tank, so I just like dipped. Which is not as efficient, but it was safe. And I was pretty sure as long as I was alive, he still won. And that was the key. I feel like I didn't learn that much, because the main thing I was doing wrong is what I already knew I was doing wrong. I wasn't setting focus and kicking things, and I wasn't, like, soothing fast enough. Or, like, pet taunting or things like that. It's like utility things. I did damage fine. Like, almost, almost everything I was doing with damage was good. But most of my utility things were, like, lacking. Like, the natural curve of, like, learning it all. Alright, that's the hunter. I'll go find my other one. Alright, this is my Ellie Halander's kill, where I had to do the hardest bomb. And before the nerfs. I'm sure I did a lot of things wrong. Because my damage kind of sucked. I want to pick this up before the thing got there. Planet Cracker, because this is safer that way. Bring it over to Dorvon. I was trying to like stutter step and cast on the way. But in order to get there, I had to walk past this. I was scared the tank was going to like 
trying to hit it, even though he wasn't in, like, the area. I don't know. I got kind of paranoid, so I just, like, dip. Walked right past it. Drop that and put a marker on it. Switch handle full screen very well. Oh, it actually does. Okay. I'm trying to point out, like, figure out, like, rotational areas and stuff mostly, because I... I'm more confident in my mechanical ability on Elian Raid. Okay, that was one. Let's go back 10 seconds, that's annoying. I could have finished that cast if I really wanted to, but it was safer not to. Here... I was hoping to get that Lava Surge out before the proc 1 came, but I wasn't going to make it either way, so I should have just used the Elian Blast. I use Lava Burst again? Why? What? I should have Ellie blasted there. I let it sit on cooldown for like two seconds. Or off cooldown. It's fine. That was not fine. I should have Ellie blast or I should have uh, Earth Shocked and Ellie blasted. Like minor mistakes. Yeah, this didn't used to be down there, but one of the updates have moved it, and I can't figure out how to move it back. So my cast bar is permanently covered by that thing. One thing I know I was doing wrong is I wasn't extending my fire early very well. I'm supposed to put this next to the gateway. Did I hold it very long? I should've used it there. Play transfusion? I should've used it back there, but whatever. Also, I... Maybe should have extended Fireley first, but I was worried about Fireley not following properly, because a couple times he didn't. I should have tried to squeeze in Stormkeeper at some point during all this. I could have cast it at the boss. I was, like, worried about dying. That was, wasn't being dispelled. But I just wasted, like, 10 seconds of possible Stormkeeper cooldown. I probably lost a use doing that. I didn't. I should have reshocked first, but it didn't really matter because I didn't overcut. I'm holding Ellie Blast a lot when I shouldn't be, but it's mostly because like it's something you have to think about ahead of time, and I was too focused on mechanics. It's hard to make that instinctual. But I need to like find the mental space to think about that more. It's definitely a damage loss. Why did I hold it so long there? Should have been a Lava Burst into an Alley Blast. What did I do? Wait. I hate how switch goes back 10 seconds when you back here, which should be 5. I did Fade Transfusion, I did Lava Burst. It should have been an Elia Blast out of the Lava Burst. Why did I scoot over there? I think I was scared of that, but it wasn't even that close to me. It should have been into an Elia Blast and then dropped the bomb. But I, like, I wanted to drop it early. I don't know why. I was being overly cautious. I didn't want to put it on my circle, but I had time to do both. I kind of set her set back to the circle. That's fine. Elia Blast to the Stormkeeper, I hope. That's close enough. Now I gotta run really far. Drop it here, mark it for Doro. I gotta keep running really far because Doro's gonna take it giga far and I gotta be there. So I can't like DPS much here. 
I'm also out of range of healers, I think. For a second. That was really inefficient. Hold on. No matter what I did, I was wasting a lot of research there. I don't know what I could have done better. Hyper almost fucked me so hard. But I got it. I got the bomb. I Once again, like, I just didn't think... I thought I had less time than I did. Like, I didn't need to cancel that cast. I start this cast, it's a 1.5 second cast, and I have 3.5 seconds left. I cancel it halfway in to drop it. But I didn't need to. It's just like, I'm being paranoid. I'm not being greedy enough. Yeah, I stayed in Spirit Wolf, because I wanted the DR, because I had to pick up the bomb there. I should fire really soon. I got the bomb, marked it. Let's get back in range and fire early. So I can fay. Everything on cooldown, storm keep everything. Okay, this is good. I have time here. I usually panic there, but I have time. The the beams don't spawn that fast. I left my circle there just because I wanted to drop it outside of the beam range for Doravon. Here I had to blink back. No, it actually didn't. I think I still did. Yeah, I did. A little cornered. This part I put like zero attention to my rotation, so that's what I'm mainly looking at. I couldn't meteor, by the way. Barely it wasn't in range. This is when I realized that the, the tanks always aim at this thing. So we were in a terrible spot. This is when Doravon and I realized that we gotta move. The tanks always aim the beam at the pillar that we're sitting right in front of. So this is when we take the bomb and leave. Lava burst, first shock, lava burst, storm keeper. Good. Can pick it up. I got that one unnecessarily close. I had mobility, I didn't have to stop and wait. Oh, I wasted a lot of surge proc. I could have used it before using Earthshock. Okay, if I have Fae up again, I should use it. Okay, yeah, good, good, good. Tank scared the hell out of it, almost killed Dorva. <laughs> but it worked out. I rotationally played better in the last phase when I was more stressed. That's weird. Anyone else notice that? I played way better in the last phase rotationally. The part that I was least familiar with, that's very strange. I don't know why that's the case. But there were so many points where I just like held a blast way longer than I should have. Or just like canceled a cast to get the bomb when I didn't need to yet, or drop the bomb, random things like that. But at the very end, I played almost perfectly. Other than like, I mean, I guess that wasn't like a bad thing, picking up the bomb late. That was kind of weird. But the main thing I was doing wrong was blast. I wasn't using it very much when I needed to. That's something I gotta work on. I was pretty good about not wasting Lava Search procs, I only wasted a couple. I don't know, I feel like I didn't play bad enough to warrant 11k damage, I don't know what happened there. I feel like I should have been higher. I, also, I did have the worst bomb with the most movement though, so I guess that's part of it. That bomb is like really bad. It was also very dangerous. The, the guy doing this bomb for all of Prague was a warlock, so... They just like threw me into the fire. <laughs> Alright, last one is Enhanced. Okay, this is a, not a kill, but it's a good Jether pull in which I'm playing Enhanced on my first night ever doing Jailer. So there's probably going to be a mountain of mistakes. It's like Hot Hands proc. So far, nothing wrong, but this is a really easy part. I go collect my trinket things. How much do I greed this? I can get another level Eshin. Oh, I didn't. Why not? I easily could have gotten at the level I in. I just wasted one. Playing really safe again. I'm getting procs on procs this pull. What the hell? I didn't pick it because of that. I picked it because of like how long it went. And how much I was alive. Hmm. 
Night Fae Locks can move a lot. Don't let them fool you. I'm proking like crazy. So far I haven't really made any like major mistakes that I noticed. I thought there'd be more. I'm using my my downtime really well. Am I supposed to, where am I supposed to be here? It's behind the boss, I guess. I got kind of crowded there, but I managed not to hit anybody with it. That's good. I held Fate Transfusion for a really long time. I did that a lot on Jailer. I'm not sure exactly when I was supposed to use it, but I definitely was supposed to use it <laughs> at some point. I almost died, but I saved it. I'm still holding Fate Transfusion. That's so bad. Even if I don't get any of the benefit from Dream Bear or CDR, like just use it. I'm still holding it. One more Lava Lash? Oh my god, I didn't greet again. I easily could have greeted that. One more Lava Lash. Okay, use Dogs. And use Fate Transfusion here. Right now. Right now. Do it. Okay. <laughs> We're at almost three minutes into the fight, so I almost wasted an entire Fate Transfusion use to this point. I held it for a minute. It's a 90 second cooldown. That's really bad. It's got to send it more. Double Fire Dog Lava Lash, but I'm in the air and it's, I'm starting to cry about it. Almost landed on somebody. I positioned correctly for this, which is nice. I was doing really bad about that for a lot of the pulls. It's like not being aware it was coming. My damage is still pretty good, even though I held Fate Transfusion for so long. Everything else I'm doing is fine. I should be putting Earthbind on those, probably. Even if it's not necessary, just like put it down. Sometimes other people miss their slows. It's like a minor thing I could do differently, too. Okay, I'm trying. I think I'm holding Faye because I want a dogs first. I should be using it like here though, as soon as I can. I need to send it like right now. Just press it. Just press Fay. Okay, good. If I held it for another minute, it would have been so sad. Did I overcap? I did. Yeah, I should have spent there. Before level leshing. I'm actually really surprised how not bad I'm doing rotationally. <laughs> I should have backed up a little more. The hole in melee wasn't very good. I definitely could have greeted that better and gotten a crash lightning off. But this is also okay. It didn't matter that much. I was playing exceptionally safe because I didn't like we didn't need my damage, we just needed me to live. Uh wait. A slight error here. I got another lava la or hot hand sprock. I should have used that. Because it resists the cooldown when you get the proc. I could have used that before I leave less. And that is, I believe, technically better. That's like a really minor thing, though. I didn't notice the proc at the moment, I think. 
I already had a proc at the time. I just got another one. Okay, I need a Fae Chen Fusion soon. I want to get dogs up first. Which is like now? Now press Fae. Press Fae. Press Fae. Press nice. Perfect. Oh, I cancelled it. What did I... Oh yeah, I was, too, I was too afraid of getting knocked in that hole. So I cancelled it. Which I think is fair. I could Goblin Jump, but I think I'd rather not use it on that. Okay, I should run away in Tremor. I almost killed someone who didn't run to like a good spot with a Tremor. Because like the Tremor ticks every one second, so if you don't time it perfectly, you can be emceed for up to a full second and you start running towards the edge and I had Torment. So I started running towards the edge and I cleaved somebody, but they lived, so it was fine. But like, I should have like run over almost on top of Capri Sun fan there. Not on top of, but like next to you. Like hugged his spot, because it would have ran me towards the edge. It's like a minor thing. I didn't probably skip this part. <laughs> Is Frost Shock when I had... No, never mind. I didn't have it. Okay. What happened here? Uh, that was fine. I thought I spent when I shouldn't have and didn't get to LA Blast, but I didn't spend when I shouldn't have, I just got unlucky. I got chained, I shouldn't have. It didn't really matter, but I'm not supposed to be getting chained. I wasn't very good at looking for the tanks for it. Is this 70k? What? 70k LA Blast? Gateway out. I almost walked into that. I don't actually know what would have happened. <laughs> I don't think it would have been good. I don't think it would have been good though. You're supposed to soak it like Lozzy just said there. I would have done it early. That would have been really bad. I think it was almost a tragedy. It like you could see me like panic and start shaking my hand around trying to get out of it, and I almost walk into it. I positioned really poorly because I couldn't hit the boss the whole time they were spawning. I should have gone the other way. What am I pressing? I crash lighting. Storm strike. Nothing blast. Dogs. Storm strike. I, that should have been a lot of less. A lot of lash. I storm strike twice. That's just like bad. That's I didn't even notice. I somehow didn't notice that lava lash proc. I didn't press anything for a little bit there too. Like it's obvious I was like very scared of the mechanics, so I just wasn't looking at my RB cores at all. So I'm supposed to send out the tank for this. Good dodges. I need a Wind Fury. Okay. A little late, but I got it. Oh, I almost ran away because I thought we were in a different part of the fight. I was supposed to stand here. That Defile was growing and it was really scary. But we managed to get away from it. <clears throat> oh my god, the chain break almost murdered us. I don't think I was going to fall in there, but I panicked and goblin jumped. That was completely fine. I didn't need <laughs> did not need to goblin jump that. Like rotationally, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing better than I thought I was going to be doing. I need a gateway and then drop a wind rush. And Wind Fury at some point. Okay. I almost think it in front of that, but Impact called it just in time. I just didn't know it was supposed to be there.
That was a wait. That was a really bad fate transfusion. Why did I do that? My dogs were almost off cooldown, and I had a hot, and I had a hot hands proc. I definitely shouldn't have pressed that. That was really bad. I also overcapped there. It's like not paying attention. And that wind fury hasn't been down for like 10 seconds now. I'm a rhythm. This is where I should have... These these circles will drop defile. I should have like blinked out on the way down. I had it up. Because people walked through this, which isn't really my fault, but like I should... like it, I could have prevented it. Like, I wouldn't have gotten knocked in this if other people didn't walk into it, so it would have been fine. It was, like, five people walked straight through it. But I shouldn't have been there. I could have made it not there. And that's how we wiped. That that went downhill fast. It was like a minor mistake for me, like, amplified by everyone else not paying attention to where it was. Well, rotationally, I did pretty good. There were a couple times where I overcapped. A couple times where I just like didn't notice a hot hands proc quickly enough, and a couple and many times where I played my fate transfusion and dogs cooldowns like horribly wrong. That was the biggest part. But yeah, mistake might be a strong word because like that wasn't really. I could have done something better, but what I did wasn't like necessarily even wrong. Like most classes would have had to do that. Definitely, the main thing I was doing wrong was fate transfusion, just like not using it. I definitely lost like at least one use, probably two. It's only a 90 second cooldown and I held it for like 60 seconds at least once. I also didn't greed nearly hard enough. I was being like exceptionally safe. Like on the chains when you get dragged in, I had hot hands proc on both of them and I left at like 3 seconds. When I easily could have squeezed in at least one more lava lash in there and then get weighed out at like 1.5 seconds and still been totally fine. Without even risking it. So that was like also bad. It's like unnecessarily safe. Okay, that was all of my VODs I had prepared so that's good. I actually did better than I thought I would on like almost all of them. My main takeaway is Hunter, I need to get better at using utility. Uh, Ellie, I need to get better at using Ellie Blast and like finishing casts. And Enhance, I need to pay more attention to my cooldowns and be greedier when I can be. Otherwise, I did pretty good. Like, I think the fact that I was rotationally like fairly sound on that, on like my 10th ever pull of Mythic Jailer, was, was solid. Yeah, part of the Hunter thing is like not knowing what to use utility on, but I need to just like use it. <laughs> Even if I don't know, just press it. That is it for the video. Let me know how you felt about that kind of content. People on the stream wanted to see me do it, because I mentioned I, I do that every month or whatever. People said they wanted to see me do it, so I figured why not. If you want to see more things, like, not necessarily me doing it again, but like things like similar to that, let me know. I have some other ideas that are kind of up, up that same alley. But if you liked this, you'll probably like that too. Also got a little longer than I was hoping it would be, but I don't really want to upload like three different videos this unless it goes super well then i can do it again i guess like next month or whatever but anyways thank you very much for watching especially if you made it this far watch the whole thing very much appreciate it make sure to like the video if you liked it subscribe for more and let me know what you think in the comments and i'll catch you in another video